This is a reading of the first few lines from the book of Genesis in Latin, read from the Gutenberg Bible. The Gutenberg Bible was the first major printed book to be produced in Europe using movable type. It was produced in Germany around the year 1455. All of the type on the page, the black type, is the result of the printing press, but the historiated initials and other decorations were added later by hand, just as though the Gutenberg Bible were a manuscript. The Gutenberg Bible was in fact produced to look and function like a manuscript, because manuscripts and books were the same thing at the time the first printed book was produced. And so manuscript conventions are followed throughout, including contractions of the Latin in various places, which I'll point out as we move through the text. The contractions were introduced not to make the Latin more confusing, although sometimes they have that effect. They were introduced because the cost of the paper or the vellum on which the books were printed or written was by far the most expensive component, apart from, of course, the human labor. So let's begin. In principio, creavit Deus Caelum et Terum. In principio, it's the Latin ablative, in the beginning, creavit, third person singular, he creates, Deus, nominative case, God creates, Caelum et terum, these are in the accusative case, and notice the final M is missing off the end of the word Caelum, as indicated by this mark above the final letter of the word. And again, that's done in order to save space. So, in the beginning, God creates the heavens and the earth. These are accusatives, so you know they're the objects. I'm not going to name all the individual parts of speech as we go along, because that will become tiresome quite quickly. But I will indicate what each of these words means in English. Terra autem erat inanis et vacua. And the earth was void and empty. Et, another contraction, tenebre erant super, another contraction, super faciam, another contraction, abisi. And the darkness, in the plural, was upon or above the face Fagium abisi of the abyss or the deep. Et spiritus dei, and the spirit of God, genitive, ferabantor, moved super aquas, moved upon the face, moved upon the waters. Dixitqua, another contraction. Q-U-E at the end of a, of a uh, verb like that indicates and, et, dixit, and, deus, nominative, deus, dixit, third person, singular, deus, dixit, God said, and God said, fiat, lux, let there be light, et facta est, lux, another contraction, E, E, S, T, facta est, lux and light was made. Et vidit Deus lucem, quod esset bona. And God saw the light, accusative, quod esset bona. That, quod, another contraction, esset bona was good. Et divisit, third person singular, lucem a tenebris. He divided the light from 
the darkness. Palavitquo, he called Lucem Deum et Tenebros Noctum. And he called the light day and the darkness night. Factum quo est vespere et mane deis unus. This is a little bit hard to translate exactly, but essentially it means and it was or is the evening and the morning deis unus, the first day, day one. Day one. Dixit quoque deus quoque and et dixit third person singular deus nominative again god said and god said fiat firmamentum let there be a firmament in medio amidst aquarum aquarum amidst the waters et divided aquas ab aquis and he divided the waters from the waters et Begit Deus firmamentum, and God made the firmament. Divisit quo aquas quae erant super, or pardon me, erant sub firmamento ab his quae erant super firmamentum. Divisit quo, he divided the waters which were below the firmament from those which were above super firmamentum, the firmament, et factum est ita, and thus it was made. Ocavit quo deos firmamentum caelum, more contractions here, Ocavit quo God called firmament sky. Factum est vespere et mane deis secundus. And it was or is the evening vespere et mane in the morning deis secundus, the second day.